Greetings to you this day. This is Michelle Strickland, and I'm coming to you today with my daily theology lesson. This is my daily meditation that I do. I record it and release it because maybe somebody can get something out of it. Uh, for those of you who are are new, I I cover the three major religions. I go over I go through the Bible, the Quran, and I'm in an introductory Buddhist text called The Shape of Suffering. Um, it's something that I do for myself because I want to be become a better person and I want to uh, get an understanding for how the other cultures think and and you know that's about it. I love God. You know, I ask you to choose God this day. You know, the bad guys, they sin. The good guys, we sin. We all sin. It's whom you serve. Please choose God this day. He's real, people. You know, never give up on yourself. Love yourself first because if you don't love yourself first, if nobody else loves you, you'll be okay. If you lost everything, if you have yourself, you have everything. You can always rebuild. Never give up on yourself. Never. Find your hope. Find your peace. Find your love. Find your joy. Find it. Find it. Never give up on yourself. My rotation, I hit the three major religions at least three times a week or two times a week. And so I'm, my rotation, I'm back in the Quran. I'm not here to debate anybody. It's just a theology lesson. If you want to comment, comment. Give me ideas on what, how you think that the, uh, what, what it meant or give me some enlightenment about it because I'm not a... Uh, theologian. I'm just, I'm a regular person and I'm just studying because I want to become a better principled person. Plus I'm for cultural diversity. I want to understand the other cultures and how they, how we all relate to each other and find the similarities that we have. So, um, another thing, one more thing. I'm also reading, uh, the text from cover to cover. I'm reading every single chapter word for word. I won't censor a word in any of the text. I'm going to tell it like it is. So I'm not censoring anything. But we're still in the Quran. We're, we're still in chapter 2, but we're moving along. We're in uh, chapter 2, se section 15, verses uh, 122 through 125. Section 15, covenant with Abraham. Now I want anybody jumping on me about it because it's not, I didn't write this, okay? I'm not here to argue with people about, about God's inspired text. I'm not. You can say it's this and you can say it's that. I, I don't I don't care about that. I'm just going to read what it says. Okay? O children of Israel, call to mind my favor which I bestowed on you and that I made you excel the nations. Pretty cut and, pretty, pretty cut and dry. And be on your guard against the day when no soul will avail another in the least. Neither will any compensation be accepted from it, nor will intercession profit it, nor will they be helped. Don't sound, I mean, why are you all fighting? That's some terrorism right there. That's terrorism is the reason why they're fighting over there. You're hurting innocent people for nothing because you're greedy and selfish. All over the world, you're greedy and you're selfish. If you have wars wherever they're at, you're greedy and you're selfish. Wherever the world, the world wars are, anywhere on this earth, you're greedy and you're selfish for hurting people. Wherever it's at. And when this Lord... When, excuse me, and when his Lord tried Abraham with certain commandments, he fulfilled them. He said, surely I will make thee a leader of men. Abraham said, and of my offspring, my covenant does not include the wrongdoers, said he. Abraham, he, 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 several, he, he, you know, how y'all going to talk about Abraham? You can't. Well, maybe, but that's not going to do any of us any good. Whether you believe in what he did or whether you don't believe in what he did. He had to, he had two sons. He did. Now, that's a whole other story, but I'm going to keep on going. And when he made the house a resort for men and a place of security, and take ye the place of Abraham for a place of prayer. And we enjoyed Abraham and Ishmael saying, purify my house 
for those who visit it and those who abide in it for devotion and those who bow down and those who prostrate themselves. And when, oh, I, you know what? I got to keep going. It's a little longer than 125. I'm sorry. It goes to 129. And when Abraham said, my Lord, make thee a secure town and provide his people with fruits, such of them as believe in the law and the last day, he said, and whoever disbelieves shall be, grant him enjoyment for a short while. Then I shall drive him to the chastisement of the fire, and it is an evil destination. I'm sorry, it was a long, it was, it was all the way to 129. I'm, my apologies. And when Abraham and Ishmael raised the foundation of the house, our Lord, except from us, surely thou art the hearing the knowing. The Lord, our Lord, and make us both submissive to thee, and raise from our offspring a nation submissive to thee, and show us our ways of devotion, and turn to us mercifully. Surely thou art the off returning to mercy, the merciful. Our Lord, and raise up in them a messenger from among them who shall recite to them thy messages and teach them the book and the wisdom and purify them. Surely thou art the mighty, the wise. Anyway, I want to leave it like that. I'm going to talk about Abraham this this Sunday. I'm going to go, I'm going to just talk, discuss Abraham just before my Sunday meditation. I'm going to talk about Abraham for a few minutes. Okay? Remember, Smile this day anyway and reach out to one person at a time, one person at a time, one person at a time, okay?